You know, when I saw you the first time in the illusion, I didn't realize you were so cat-eyed. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, that was a nice rest. Blade is gone again. Oh, there he is over there. Next to Tolf Deer. All right. Well, we found the, the books and gave them to Urag. I guess I need to talk to uh, Tolf Deer and tell him about our adventures. Tolf Deer. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Oh, you're such a flatterer. Anyway, Urag suggested I come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Um, yes. There's a certain book that I uncovered or recovered called The Night of Tears. He thought you should know about it. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? I believe it something is. Something that men and Nair fought over? Yes. I'll have to make a point of rereading it. You will. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Eliad, Dwemer, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aran is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent what? that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are it involved is. in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Well, I, I don't have any choice in the matter. What's going on? Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. Wait, I don't like your tone. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psijic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. And I'd like to know why you'd like to know. What's your interest in all this? I'll be the one. Will you? The I don't think so. All you need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. So you got a lot of nerve, sir. Hey, what's going on? Oh, somebody must have unleashed a spell. I'm going up here to the Archmage quarters. Now. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. I just want to know who you think you are to be telling me what to do. I just don't like the way people are pushed around here in the college. 
Please do not be alarmed. Hello. I mean you no harm. Uh oh. Is that blade back there? Hello. It is good to meet you in person. Um, what is going on? What happened to everybody? I'd simply like to talk Here, to you. This is for you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. You know, when I saw you the first time in the illusion, I didn't realize you were so cat-eyed. It was very intimidating. But anyhow, what does any of this have to do with me? I'm just an alchemist. You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthol. I did. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. He's not my associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Okay, so what, what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. That's what everybody says. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Mm. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. What? Rather, something will happen soon. Something that cannot be avoided. Okay, so... As I said before... I'm just an alchemist. I know people think I'm a mage. I'm disguised as one. But let's let's let me just be transparent with you. What what's it, Quarriner? Is that the Quarriner? Whatever it is. What do you expect from me? We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath. But we cannot predict what that will be. Hmm. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Okay, and um, where can I find this Augur? I... I am unsure. What? He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. Surely. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where were you about what, to what say What is the sorry? meaning of this? What? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. Oh, he, he I am goes. not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Like the world does not revolve around you, Ancano. Nobody's gonna put up with your business. Your mess. Um, Archmage. I'm. I'm not sure what happened. None a of us are. From the order. Here after all these years, and then. He just leaves. Yes. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. I hope you didn't. I'm sure if it was anybody, it was probably something that you said. So. What did he want? What did the Sigic want? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Hmm. Have
have you ever heard of the Auger of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? No. I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. I'd be curious as to why you don't want him to talk about it. Alright, well thank you. For nothing. Getting tired of these mages. Okay, really? Blade just disappeared. Just like that. Oh, there he is out here. You need to stop that. Stop being so sneaky. Come on. Alright, who do I need to talk to now? Looks like Tolf Deer. Tolf Deer. continues to struggle with wards. You have time to practice? Maybe later? Good to see Skyrim so still now. has such fine Gisarko people. Understands. You give an old man hope. Because you know um, will be have you ever heard of the Auger anyway. of Dunlane? Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Where is the midden? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. Can you tell me more about the auger? Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. Accident? What accident? Do you remember what I first told you? About how not being able to control magic could destroy you? I didn't simply mean it could kill you. The Augur's accident is another very real type of a life destroyed. Oh. Well, it's been described as an accident. I can't imagine it was intentional. Something must have gone wrong, and he ended up in the state he's in now, fused to the energies that flow through the college. I've never felt it appropriate to ask him about it, about how that must feel, or I suppose if he can feel at all. Wow, okay. All right then. I, I should ask you though. Good to see you. Hold on. Um. Is there anything more I can learn about alteration magic since it is similar to alchemy? Changing the properties of things and transmuting them. At this very moment? No. However, well, I've been working on something. An improvement on the ebony flesh spell. I've made progress, but then hit a snag. I think perhaps you could help. Really? How? I need you to collect some dragon scales, and not just any dragon scales. As I've said, I made some progress using the essence of dragon scales, but they're just not quite potent enough. My knowledge of Skyrim's history is far from complete, but I did some research and discovered two things. First, there are ancient references to dragon heart scales. What little I could learn suggests they may be what I need. Second, there are stories of a dagger called Calvazine's Fang, said to be sharp enough to carve individual scales off a dragon. First, you'll need to retrieve the dagger, then use it to carve a few scales off a dragon. Presumably a deceased one. Well, that's assuming that there are dragons. Yeah, I was just asking. Ah, well, now you can help me directly. Far more useful, I think. Please do let me know if you change your mind. Uh-huh. Okay.
Until next time. I don't know how I would cut the scales off a dragon if there aren't any. It's just a myth. I mean, there have been a few skeletons and stuff, but that's about it. Okay, do I need to talk to any of them? How about you, Mirabelle? But, excuse me. Hello. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. All right. Well, what do you know about the Sigic Order? No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order, predated the Imperial Mages Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Mages Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. All right, then. Thank you. At this time, I would like to make a few statements oh, regarding policy here at the here. college. Uh oh. Any information as to the whereabouts of the previous group of apprentices would be greatly appreciated. As of yet, there has been no sign of them. The midden remains off limits at this time. While the initial outbreak has been cleaned up, the area is still considered hazardous. No more experiments are to be carried out there and mages are advised that you enter the Midden at your own risk. Once again, I must ask that everyone please clean up any materials used in the common areas. We've had yet another sprained ankle due to soul oh. gems being left on the floor. Oh my goodness. Let's please try and keep injuries to a minimum. Well, that was interesting. Alright, I think I'm headed to the Midden. I can't believe that somebody sprained their oh. ankle stepping on a soul gym. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Hello, Colette. Um... I guess I'm going the wrong way. All right, find the auger. And that means going to the midden. Wait, is it? Looks like there's something downstairs. How do I get down there? to jump. Is that blood I see in that bed? Whoa, who is that? An alchemy cabinet. Oh. Alright, well this is good to know. a ghost hello oh I can spar with you all right well maybe another time
concerning gratis potions. These gratis potions will be restocked twice a week. They are intended for use during practice. Please do not hoard them to yourselves. Okay. A tool kit. All right, well. So this is a way into the midden. Skeleton is this. There's some really strange stuff going on down here. A torturer's hood. You just gonna sit down on the hood? And there was a, a dagger of reaping. I'm gonna take that. of the Viper Eye. Stamina increased by 45. Magic of Resistance increased by 10. Well, I can sell it if nothing else. And some fire salts. Lead the ruby here. Actronaut Forge. of this you gotta put certain ingredients in here and it can create stuff are you ready sir I think it's this way mm -hmm. so they tortured people down here too
Look at this, they even had a, a blacksmithing area. Victory. All right. Now. Oh, that thing bit me. Where are we supposed to go from here? in there. Oh. Get them. You get them. Get it. Got it, I got it. Oh, another one. Oops. There you are. I... All right. Hmm. for that.
Recently, I had a visit of Idris Halas, oldest son of the Halas family. He came to me with a request to keep safe a blade he inherited from his late father, the great Indralis Halas, who passed away not two months ago. Young Idris told me the blade is twisted and he does not want it near him or his family. He did not say so, but I strongly assume the blade was involved in his father's death. Idris would like to get rid of or destroy the blade, but is reluctant to do so since it is in it's a family heirloom. The blade possesses a curious magical power, and as such, Halas came to me for studying and safekeeping the blade. I did a short study of it and have concluded that this is the powerful bipolar blade of lore. The, the decoration on the blade illustrates the twisted nature perfectly. It seems the weapon has a mind of its own deciding on its own to send it, its target either into a blood frenzy or a calm state of mind. I am no weapon expert, but it is clear that this blade is dangerous in the wrong hands. Therefore, I send it to the college. You can keep it safer there than I can. Okay. Well, might also be able to keep it safe in the museum. still move with it you know what it would just be our luck that there's a ghost in the museum right now and we have a priest of arcade trying to get rid of it so we can't go inside and deposit all these relics that I have oh well anyway I guess I'll find somewhere to put them until the ghost is clear um, I think it's this way. So, you're the Augur of Dunlane. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It is already begun. But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. And what is it that I'm seeking? You seek that which all who wield magic seek. Knowledge. You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt. It will destroy. It will consume. You seek meaning. Shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. The Thalmor sought the same thing, and it shall lead to his end, as it has so many others. So, I'm not the first to come see you? No, though you may be the last. The one who calls himself Ancano has so my it. knowledge as well, through very different questions. 
Your path differs from most. You are being guided, pushed towards something. It is a good path, one untraveled by many. It is a path that can save your college. I will tell you what you need to know to follow it further. So, I'm just curious how Ancano knew to come talk to you when it was, uh, was it Cur Curanier, Curanier, whatever his name was, told me to come talk to you while everybody else was like, I don't know, in a trance, I would just say for lack of a better term. So, how could he have known? Well, I guess I'll just ponder on that. But what do I need? You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. That's it. All right, well. If I can possibly find the way out of here. I see you back there, Blade. Is it is this the way out? So these were the stairs, right next to the ones that go up to the Archmage quarters. All right, well, I guess the longer I'm here, the more I learn. Archmage? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Hmm. I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? We need to find the Staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. It's connected to this orb that's behind me. And how do you know of this? Well, despite what you told me, I went and talked to the Augur of Dunlane. Did you really? Yes. And he specifically mentioned yes, the Staff he did. of Magnus? Specifically. I, I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. All right, and that's going to be me. I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Alright, well thank you. Okay, 
probably need to get some rest. I uh, have a feeling the quest for the Staff of Magnus is going to take some time. But before we do that, I think we got to come on. Let's go. Oh, you. Excuse me. Before we do that, I want to go to White Run for a minute and try something. Alright, it's been some time. And I was offered some advice to walk from the stables up to the gate. Oh, why is somebody running? Okay. Walk to the stable up to the gate and then to your Vasca. And see if they may have made up their mind as to whether or not I can become a companion. so cozy. It's always good to come here. Oh, is that somebody waiting We've on me? Been awaiting it your is. Return. <laughs> you were waiting on me. Come, follow me. Oh, wow. They must have made a decision. Brothers and sisters of the Circle, today we welcome a new soul to our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the Song of Triumph as our Mead Hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours that the mountains may echo and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall, shall be so. so. Well, boy, you're one of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. Well, I hope I won't. So, now that I'm a companion, I'm gonna ask you again, is it true that you're werewolves? I see you've been allowed to know some secrets before your appointed time. No matter. Yes, it's true. Not every companion, though. Only members of the Circle all share the blood of the beast. Some take to it more than others. And what about you? Well, I grow old. My mind turns towards the horizon, to Sovngarde. I worry that Shore won't call an animal to glory as he would a true Nord warrior. Living as beasts draws our souls closer to the Daedric Lord Hirsene. 
Some may prefer an eternity in his hunting grounds, but I crave the fellowship of Sovngarde. Hmm. So you're looking for a cure? Yes, but it's no easy matter. But you don't need to share the worries of an old warrior. This day is to rejoice in your bravery. And speak to Yorland if you want a better weapon than whatever that is. All right, thank you. But listen, I'm an alchemist. If I could get a blood sample, I might be able to come up with some solution for your werewolf problem. We'll talk about it later. All right. Well, I'm a companion blade, officially.